Our top story ahead of his interrogation by the CBI, Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Mani Sisodia has tweeted alleging conspiracy to arrest him to disrupt the Aam Aadmi Party's Gujarat poll campaign. He tweeted, and I quote, that they are preparing to arrest me in a completely fake case. I was going to go to Gujarat for election campaign in the coming days. These people are losing Gujarat badly, he says, going on to say their purpose is to stop me from going to Gujarat for election campaign. But my going to jail will not stop the Gujarat election campaign, he says. And then adds, today every Gujarati has stood up. Every child of Gujarat is now campaigning for good schools, hospitals, jobs, electricity. The coming elections in Gujarat will be a movement. So Mani Sisodia, a series of tweets there ahead of his interrogation by the CBI today. Let's li listen in to the reactions from the Aam Party coming in. Uh, and more breaking news now coming in. Arvind Kejival has also tweeted on a CBI interrogation of Mani Sisodia. Kejival reacting to CBI summons this morning. Just now, uh, the Delhi, Dep uh, Delhi Chief Minister has tweeted, nothing found in Manish Sisodia's house raid. The case against them is completely false. Election campaign will not stop. So Arvind Kejival also sharpening its attack against the centre and the central agencies. He has tweeted in Hindi, Manish ke ghar raid mein kuch nahi mila, bank locker mein kuch nahi mila, un par case bilkul farzi hai, unhe chunao prachar ke liye Gujarat jana tha, usse rokne ke liye unhe giraftar kar rahe hai. Par chunao prachar rukega nahi, Gujarat ka har vyakti aaj aap ka prachar kar raha hai. This is the tweet coming in from Arvind Kejival ahead of those summons uh, to Manish Sisodia. Also, we are now getting to know that Manish Sisodia will be visiting Rajghat before he heads to the CBI headquarters for that questioning in connection with the liquor policy case. Let's go across to Ishika joining us for more on this. Uh, Ishika, good morning. So lots of action expected today as far as Delhi is concerned. Uh, Manish Sisodia going to go to Rajghat now. That's what we are getting to know before he heads to the CBI office for interrogation. Also, multiple Aam Aadmi Party leaders from the Chief Minister downwards saying that the CBI is all set to arrest Mr. Sisodia. Yes, Rohit, right now I am present at the Mathura Road where uh, Mani Sisodia's residence is there. I am right now present at AB uh, 18 and just at AB 17 is his residence. And you can clearly see the type of security arrangements that have been done. Police is deployed here, the other security forces, RPF, CRPF, all of them are deployed here. The barricading has been done on the, all, uh, on the road and in fact nobody is allowed near his residence. And in fact, uh, uh, you know, just a, a few minutes ago, uh, Sanjay Singh, Aam Aadmi Party senior leader and also MP, he also arrived here shortly and, uh, you know, before that also we saw certain, uh, uh, different other leaders of Aam Aadmi Party arriving here at Mani Sisodia's residence because all of them are planning to head uh, to the Raj Ghat uh, with uh, Mani Sisodia where they will protest. Now, this will happen before Mani Sisodia heads for the interrogation to the CBI headquarters. Because remember, Mani Sisodia has been summoned for 11 a.m. today to the CBI headquarters. And today's questioning will be based on, you know, um, uh, majorly on three things. That is, you know, the interrogation that happened with Vijay Nair, who's the Aam Aadmi Party communication in charge. And after that, uh, Abhishek Bonipalli. And after also that, also the sting operation that a BJP brought, uh, you know, BJP showed in the press conference regarding the businessman Amit Arora. So, you know, after uh, after going to the Raj Ghat, uh, Manish Sisodia, along with the other leaders, he'll head to the CBI headquarters where the questioning will go on and only then, you know, will be able to know what is going to be there because if you remember, the war of words has been going on since yesterday after Manish Sisodia.
media tweeted about this uh, because Aam Aadmi Party leaders, be it, uh, you know, Sanjay Singh, Saurabh Bhardwaj, Atishi, all of them, you know, coming out and saying that this is just, you know, misuse of agencies by BJP. And they said, you know, that uh, he might also, Mani Sisulia might also be arrested uh, despite uh, CBI not finding anything. We also saw that, you know, BJP also coming out and hitting back at the Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, the uh, spokesperson, Gaurav Bhatia, he said that if there is nothing to hide, then why is Aam Aadmi Party becoming scared? Is this, you know, their tactic to uh, create pressure on the agencies? Thus, uh, only today after the questioning gets over, we'll get to know if uh, Mani Sisodia will be arrested here or not. But definitely, the drama is going to be there in the capital today. There will be a high drama because this is the first time that the Deputy Chief Minister Mani Sisodia has been summoned by the CBI. The investigation by the CBI has been going on for a very long time, which started with the very, you know, CBI raid on Mani Sisodia's this very residence. Over to you. All right, Ishika, keep tracking those developments for us for the moment. Thanks very much for joining us with those details. So big action packed day today as far as Delhi Amadu Party is concerned. Deputy Chief Minister Mani Sisodia has been summoned. He has put out a series of tweets uh, alleging a conspiracy and a fabricated case that has been uh, foisted and registered against him and that uh, the agencies are planning to arrest him so that the Aam Aadmi Party's Gujarat campaign is interrupted. That's what Arvind Kejival has also alleged, but going on to say that uh, the campaign in the Gujarat uh, Assembly elections ahead of that elections will not stop for the Aam Aadmi Party, even if uh, Mani Sisodia is arrested. So, uh, Aam Aadmi Party, all the leaders training their guns at the central agencies as well as the central government. Uh, meanwhile, the CBI going ahead with the questioning of Mani Sisodia that is slated to begin at 11 o'clock this morning.